everyone! Today I want to show you a review of a finished item. This dress is made of chiffon and net. This part is made of milk color dotted net. The skirt and the bodice are made of white chiffon with flower prints. There are roses on the bodice and the sleeves, and also on the bottom of the dress. Very beautiful. White net on the top, pink roses on the bodice, white skirt with roses on the bottom. Have a look at the sleeves. There is no sleeve head, because this is a one-piece detail on the top. Sleeves turn into a yoke. Very beautiful. Due to the fact that this is a one-piece detail, we managed to make this line straight. This detail, the seam on the skirt, and the bottom was stitched with a baby hem. Now I want to tell you about this dress. There are two layers of chiffon on the bodice. The second layer serves as lining. Down from the waist, the dress is doubled with silk. Silk is stronger than chiffon. Due to the fact that this part is made of chiffon, it looks very light. The sleeves are not lined. The neckline and the sleet are edged with bias binding. It's very thin and made of net too. This is an elastic waistband. The chiffon used for lining is milk colored. Let me tell you about the sleeves. There are buttoned cuffs on the sleeves. Have a look at the slits and the way they were edged with baby hem. The eyelets are made of bias binding, which in return were made of silk. Very beautiful. Notice how beautiful chiffon sleeves look with silk cuffs. I think that this dress is absolutely amazing. It took us a lot of hard work and efforts to make it. Now I'll put this dress on a table to show you the wrong side. Have a look at the neckline. There's kind of draping on the front. Here it is. All the seams are very elegant. Have a look at the shoulder seams, for example. Tiny and elegant, both from the right and from the wrong sides. I remind you that this detail was edged with baby hem. The sleeves are stitched to the yoke, they are bead gathered, and they end with silk cuffs. Have a look at the buttons. This is the wrong side of the cuff. The cuffs are very beautiful. These sleeves are edged with very thin baby hems. Have a look at the sleeves. There are the French seams in them. They should be not more than 5 mm wide. Have a look at the seams from the right and from the wrong sides. There is no overlock stitching in this dress. This is the elastic waist. I'll show it from the wrong side. This detail is also edged with a baby hem. Have a look at the bottom. It's also edged with a baby hem, as well as the silk lining. Have a look at the lining. We didn't want to make it white, so we made a slit in it. Have a look at the wrong side. The skirt is lined with silk, and the bodice with chiffon. As I've already said, due to the fact that the bodice is lined with chiffon, it looks very light. They seem as ashy with the bias binding. Have a look at the armholes. They're edged with a very thin fringe seam. It's lower part. Very beautiful. 
This is also a French seam. Even though the seam is hidden inside, it still should be perfect. I've showed you both the right and the wrong sides of this dress. I've also told you about some interesting parts and techniques. I've already told you that I show you reviews of items for you to see interesting designs, learn something new and get inspiration. You may have noticed that I started showing you more complicated designs. I've already showed you the basics. The course on the 10 measurement cutting system will be out very soon. If you buy it, you'll learn how to make a basic pattern which you can adjust to any item you want. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. Your support is very important to me. If you like my tutorials, please subscribe to my channel, write comments and share the videos on your social media. Thank you. My name is Pauk Štirina. Goodbye.